Hello, everyone, and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry, the tradition, the electricity that... Just about set to kick it away. Set to kick off. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on. You're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. Out across the 30 mark, down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to outflank them on the jet sweep. I love this receiver because he's versatile. Not only can he catch passes, they can get him involved in the running game as well. Here you see him on the jet sweep showing off the speed. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Got his man quickly. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. They're bringing heat. Throws toward the end zone. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. They'll run it to the right. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. Trying play action. In offense. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Got the back over the middle. 
And sure tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And here comes the punt team. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. First down for this offense. Some misdirection with the counter. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Out of the gun, the inside give. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Third down coming up. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. From the gun, the ground game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The pull and throw off the RPO. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. From the gun, running back gets the give. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. Right back to the well. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll run it from the gun. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. They need one yard on third down to keep this one going. This will be the eighth play of the drive. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. They've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Fires to the tight end. Open runway ahead. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play as a setup. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact, so it's okay for him to make catches. You just gotta get him to the ground quickly. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. On second down, looking to throw. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. They've held this ball forever, driven it deep, now facing a third and goal. Let's it go to the end zone. Makes the catch and gets the score. Hey, what? As a defensive back, as a defensive player, you know, down here near the goal line, I got to get tight on my guys. I can't give away the easy stuff like that. Too easy near the goal line for that pitch and catch. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and puts one more on the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee and this drive will start at the 25. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. Used to play fake, now to throw. Going over the top. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, the running back has it. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. First and 10. 
first down for the offense. They'll give it to him again. Still on his feet at the 45. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Oh, I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Finally run right out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a grab. And he's in for the touchdown. touchdown. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They come to the line for the first play of the drive, snapping it from the 21. Nice move to keep moving. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. The play action fake. Complete with conviction on the cross. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Firing to the right, complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. The run from the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're trying to get to it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50 plus, and he did it with ease. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. Quarterback on the keeper. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. They'll go to the ground. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Here on third down for this offense. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Fires to the middle. Pulls it in. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll throw it on first down. 
Got it set up on the outside. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Clock's running and they'll try to get to the line warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Singleton. They are on the move down to the 32 and they pick up another first down. He's looking to throw it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw it again. Quick completion on the out route. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Got it in the middle, it's Anderson. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. Got it in the middle, it's Anderson. That completion will take it inside the four and the offense is threatening. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab and steps into the end zone for the touchdown. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives them the lead of 14-13. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Just over 30 seconds to play here in the first half as they take over first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. To the air on first down. Spits it out to the back. Makes the grab. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. He wants to pass it on second down. And the ball is intercepted. And they get the takeaway and prevent points from going up just before the end of the half. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass, perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. The offense set for a first down play. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Catch in the middle, it's Brewster. The offense calls timeout, it's the second one they've used this half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking to go up top on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Campbell. He gets it all the way down to the five yard line, a terrific catch and run before he stops. And that's good enough for a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And the field goal unit is on the field. And this one ought to be nice and easy. A 22-yard attempt. Splits the upright. It's good. field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer from inside the 10-yard line he'll bring it back and they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive 
First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Norfolk to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Ballard Stadium. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll open the second half with a run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the ground with the back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. A third and long coming up here. Keeps it on the bootleg. Coming after it. Fires to the big fella. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why they play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah, I beg the difference. Good field position to start this drive at their own 47. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. The punt team makes its way onto the field. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Give to the back. Running hard and getting 6 yards out to the 26. 6-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with 2nd and 4. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking for a huge play. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. After the misfire, it's second and ten. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. That's his second sack on the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm gonna roll out away from him. I'm gonna double team him. Let somebody else beat me, not that guy, because his speed off the edge is killing me. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. 
And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. They bring the punter onto the field now. Second time today they've been forced to punt. Makes a catch, wants to make a move upfield. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Trying to get to it. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Here's the handoff. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. He now has 84 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. Off the play fake. He's got his man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Leaves it with the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They're threatening to score and they'll throw it. Makes the catch. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. He'll put the tight end in motion. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he'll be smacked to the ground. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground, and that was Pater. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The handoff as they run the counter play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Trying to move the sticks on third down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play. And you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. He'll heave it deep. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Off play action on first down. Looking left. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. Well, this offense is trying to ice the game. They've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but it's only by one possession, so you got to be so careful with your decision-making. And that was not a good one by the quarterback. They now turn it over, and they better hope their defense can play well in this sudden change situation.
A great spot to start this drive for the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. It's a draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They could really use a few yards here on third down because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. That's why as a defense is so important to win early downs. You win first and second down, you set up third and long. Now you can pin your ears back and get out to the game. And here comes the punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Crosses the 30. He's got away. He now has 110 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Trying the left side. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. From the red zone, looking for a space. He's got it and still on his feet. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead on first and goal, but they can also drain the clock. And he's in for the touchdown. Now you know why you do all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, extra time in the weight room. No doubt, get that lower body strength so you can shed people off. What a great job smelling the end zone and getting in. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. He'll pull it on the read. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. They ran it on first down, now on second. Off play action. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. No passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down set. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Complete to the left. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs. Now out close to midfield. Getting some heat. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Clock is under four minutes as they come to the line for second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit of the time to get to that first down mark. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. 
And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. On fourth down, trying to find his man. He's got him, and they convert. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They're going to throw it again. Snagged in the middle, it's Campbell. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. Caught over the middle. It's quick. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. It's complete to the left. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Looking to pass on second down. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. This drive started about the time Walter Camp invented football, but the defense can finally get a stop on third and long. Pressure coming. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Absolutely perfect. You've got all three timeouts left in your back pocket. You're down a possession here late in the fourth quarter. You do not have to kick an onside kick. You trust your defense. You use your timeouts wisely. You can have a lot of time left on offense to go and win this game. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. Tackled after picking up the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. The give to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Leaves it with the running back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The punt team makes its way onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Got to get everybody lined up quickly, time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On third and long, try and have a big completion here. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. 
You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're gonna win. You don't think you're gonna win. You know you're gonna make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week to week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. So that's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.